Flip man, flip man. It's the flip man. Flip man, flip man. You want some money in your hand? Flipping houses without credit or your cash. Get that bag. Get that. What up? Show number, well, episode number 11 of Comps 101. We got my man Jamia Demji in AZ, Hi, if you didn't know what that meant, Arizona, Phoenix. What's going on, man? Just uh, just chilling, man. As you as you know, I had a, a little scare with my puppy for the last three days. My dog had a stroke after we took him out for a walk, and so that was scary. But um, we got him home this morning, and he's safe. He's still weak, but he's alive. And um, I'm just thankful, man. There were so many people that prayed for that dog, bro. Uh, fans, friends, family, people who I thought didn't like me. Mm. I got love from all kinds of all corners of the of, of the world. I'm just thankful for every every person. It's awesome. Yeah, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Okay. All right. So um, we'll go ahead and um, get into this. If you don't know why we're here, our goal is to just start with the basics to help you understand, number one, what houses are valued at. Uh, well, after repair value, meaning what will they appraise for in excellent condition? And from there, you can you can work your way backwards to knowing if you have a deal or not. Your input, Jamil? Yeah, guys. Um, uh, again, you know, being a coach, the one thing that I, I see over and over again as a, the biggest hurdle for a newcomer to the business is an inability or, or not knowing how to comp a house and know what a property could be worth after a renovation. And so what ends up happening is you tie up a house too high because you don't know where you need to buy it at and then you can't sell it and then you cancel and then you quit and that sucks because this business will change your life like and as a, the big like change your life so i just want to help you guys uh have as as strong of a shot at making it as you can and, and this is what's going to do it okay all right so um we'll go ahead and uh Get into um, first comp here. You want to share your screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ooh, let's let's before I share my screen because I just saw Chris Allen's um, quote comment on repair costs being a, a problem for newbies. Can we can we talk about that real quick, Flip? Oh, most definitely, most definitely, most definitely. You, you and I were in Atlanta, and uh, you saw that Pace and I had a little bit of a challenge. Uh, Pace is a general contractor. If some of you guys don't know my man, Pace Morby, um, he's the sub two guy. Everybody knows him for creative finance. But before that, what Pace w had done for you know a decade was a general contractor. He fixed, he fixed houses for investors. Before that, what and so had done for the. Uh, the real, the real interesting thing is, is that what I was able to do when we were out in Atlanta looking at a house, I can eyeball based off of the general condition of a house and some pretty uh, standardized uh, dollar per square foot amounts that allow me to understand what the repairs might be in a house. So for all of you guys listening, I'm going to give you the bag. All right. If a property needs only cosmetic rehab, so I'm talking... You know, the house is dated. It looks like a time cap. It looks like grandma's house, but the roof is good. The AC is good or the furnace is good. Um, there's no foundational issues. Um, it just looks like grandma's house. All right. The cost to repair that is going to be $25 a square foot. Okay. Now, if you get a little bit worse, so now we've got, we've got roof issues. Maybe we've got electrical issues, um, maybe some plumbing you are now going to bump up to around $40 a square foot. Okay. Now beyond that, that beyond that becomes a more specialized type of, of renovations. And so when you're talking about like foundation cracks where like the house is sinking and it's, it's just a, a complete mess, 
you're now getting into, uh, you know, somewhere in the range of between 50 and $60 a square foot. But at that point, that's when you actually need a construction bid to really know what something's going to cost. But for what we do in this business, we generally tend to uh, only really work with stuff that's cosmetically challenged, right? Or has like roofing or electrical stuff, foundational problems. Yes, we can. But, um, you know, again, you want to, we want a real bid for that. But $25 a square foot for cosmetics, up to about $45 a square foot for more involved renovations. Keep those numbers in mind, guys, and that'll serve you well. So, boom. All right. I think we have someone. Uh, Shashank, uh, you don't have your video, and I'll add you to to ask a question once you show your video or whatever. So, but we'll go ahead and get into a comp. Okay. Flip man, flip man, flip man, flip man. Get that bag. Get that bag. Let's get an address. All right. Let me remove right. the banner here. All right. The address, the first address we want to go with is we're going to go to Missouri uh, 1113 South Crutcher. Avenue, C R U T C H E R. All right. So uh, we have what appears to be a little shack. I think it's this one here with all these cars. Look at that tiny little house tie with one, two, three, four, five cars parked in the driveway. Um, wow. wow. Uh, so this is a two bed, one bath, 896 square foot house that Zillow is estimates at 85 thousand eight sixteen all right um what else we've got here this was built in 1920 so it's old it's a single family house on point two five acres and it appears to have one parking spot any other information no listing history uh all right let's save it and see what we got All right, so here we, what's this? This is an 18, so this is a little bit old. Um, not seeing a ton of activity. What's this 133? That's not a sale. This is 105, here's one. This looks to be, oh. Ty, I found it. Two bed, one bath, 894 square foot. I mean, if you couldn't get uh, a, a saw, if this wasn't a, a, a direct comp, I don't know what is one. So ARV of this puppy is 105 and we're in Springfield, Missouri. And so you are wanting to be picked these, you want to pick these houses up at 50% of ARV. And so you want to be buying this at around 50K. 52.5. That would be my highest. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, where did that code coming from? Um, the, someone wanted, they, they suggest, I've gotten a couple of people wanted to suggest, even though we just went through it, because so many people use the day late AK prop stream, they want us to like do one, you know, the same stuff quickly there, you know, so they sure. can understand how to use it. So let me share my screen here. And Ty, we're um, I'm 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 figuring out how to how to incorporate prop stream into this as well. So at some point, you and I will switch over. All right, all right. Well, you know, everybody can't afford that, so we're going to have to keep doing using Dillo, okay. uh, cool. Zillow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Because prop stream is like a hundred bucks a month or something. Yeah, right? correct, correct. All right, so we're in here. So we go to details. We're basically going to do the same thing Jamil did, it's just a little simpler. Um, now that's a uh, non-disclosure state, I guess. Um, since it's only putting up ML, yeah, got, got very little. There was li very little data, but okay. I was able to find that one solid comp. All right, and you, what was it? One o two what? Um, sorry, say it again. You, what was the amount? It was one o two something. One o five was my ARV. One o five. Okay. All right. All right. So we're looking at the same thing. So what I would automatically do here. here 
And what do you think about this? You see this yellow, you see down here at the bottom, this yellow yep. uh, thing here. We really yep. don't have one comp there. So I'm sure 93.5. Yes, so I, I feel like you really can't comp this unless you cross that street. Okay. Um, now, it's two-way traffic, which is better than, like, a highway. Mm -hmm. So I would say it's not preferred, but it's acceptable. Okay. So let's see what we got over there. All right, uh, that's number one right there, and it's 99.5. It was built in 1950. Uh, number two was built in 1939. That's 70,000. And uh, those are the only MS, MLS products. So we would have to go back in time a little bit on this, I can see. What okay. Square footage on this property is 896. Yep. Let's, let's go back a little farther. Uh, we'll just say maybe... First to be in, so and I just want All to right. look to see that if I cross the road to get to that too. Mm -hmm. I did, I did, I did cross you did, uh, Glenston Avenue, yeah. And, well, and what, what year, what, when did that sale? That sale happened in 2020, and the address oh. of that sale was 1036 Kentwood. Okay, I have a 1030, there it is, right there. So I'm sure it sold sold for 99.5. What did you say say it sold for? I saw it sold at 105. Okay, let me look at now. That. You know, um, it could have it could have uh, they could be just pulling it from from different data sources. But I would I would I would say you'd probably want to go with the with the lower of the two. Yeah. Okay. So the 99.5. Yeah, and then you want to be at 50k for your offer on this one. Then. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Um, so, and people have been asking me, okay, so uh, you're just saying the the 50%, so you're not taking into consideration the repairs. No, I, I'm not a fan of that. You know, the whole Mayo calculation that uh, some older uh, folks in the business started to propagate, you know, about a decade ago, Mayo or maximum allowable offer is equal to, uh, what do they say, 82% of ARV minus repairs, minus what you want for your wholesale fee equals mm -hmm. your maximum allowable offer. You will never do a deal if you if you go in with that kind of a uh, um, math. It, it doesn't work, especially in appreciating markets, right? So when you're in highly competitive appreciating markets like Phoenix, Arizona, like Los Angeles, mm -hmm. like Las Vegas, and you take 82% of ARV, and then you minus repairs, and then you minus... Well well, the, the formula that I always, um, uh, reg is still at 70%, like the standard. And then, um, because, oh, well, I'll just give you an example, like this house here, if you just did 50% of it, right. And we're at 50,000, what if it needs 40 in repairs? Then it might need 40 in repairs. You know what I mean? Uh, it, it as, might. A whole, as a wholesaler, that's not going to work. It's not, it's, it's not going to work now. If it needed 40 in repairs, though, Ty, for an 896 square foot house, then it would be one of those really, really exceptional uh, situations where our average, like the averages that we're using wouldn't apply anymore, right? I, I believe taking the percentage of ARV can only work for rehabs that are cosmetic. So in that $25 a square foot range yeah. up to... Um, a little bit over cosmetic. So up to about 40 bucks a square foot, you can get away with the, the way that we do it. But that's about 95% of the deals we do. Well, yeah. Well, assuming that house was 1,400 square feet, right? You could easily be up over 30 grand at $25 a square foot. Correct. Right? Yep. yep. So, so, you know, 50, so we'll just say 100 grand at 100,000 is the ARV. You take 50% of that, add 30,000 back, you're still at 80. That's tight. It's tight. <laughs> that, that, you know what I'm saying? So you, you got to take in consideration the repairs. So, so you know, if from, from that argument, I would say that, yeah, you can. But then at the same time, you, you didn't increase your ARV when you doubled the square footage. Right? So, um, so, so that. They, so the ARV is going to, the, well, I'm sorry. But, but, but you still can have a $100,000 house. And it's fourteen hundred square feet. Yes, yeah. I've seen that. 
Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So you can still have that because I'm in a market like that. That's very common or whatever. Yep. So I guess you gotta you gotta put the caveat in there that it's still gotta be market specific. Now, see, you're in a market where you know the hood is 200 grand. That's not the way it is in a lot of markets. No, you're right. You and, and, and what I'll do in those markets, Ty, to uh, to accommodate is uh, rather than and 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 really all we've done at Keegley is we've we've taken we've looked at what the average is of what wholesale deals trade at in mm -hmm. these specific types of markets, right? And what we found is in in appreciating markets mm -hmm. with high investor activity that. If you buy at 70% of ARV, you can still be successful in a wholesale transaction. Yeah. In non-appreciating markets, like maybe Birmingham or, or like Springfield, Missouri, okay, mm -hmm. where there is not as much activity, but there is still investors there, but just it's not appreciating like that. The demand's a little bit lower. Then you can still be successful in a wholesale transaction at 50% of ARV. And so we adjust for the market, but you're correct. Um, this only applies for rehabs that are um, not intensive. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So you have to, yeah. if, if it's like you say, it's light work, then yeah, okay, that, that, that'll that fly. But, when is it, but it can still be a deal with a lot of work. You know, but you that's just got to get the price. You just got to get, get the price, price right. Yep. Price yep. right. Okay. So just trying to clear that up because people get confused with the message. Yeah, it, it is confusing. Yeah. And, and and I think that's why it's really important, guys. Those numbers that I gave you guys earlier, the $25 a square foot for a cosmetic, $45 a square foot for if there's roofing issues or if there's plumbing issues or if there's electrical issues, that will serve you well. So ask the appropriate questions to your sellers and then apply the appropriate dollar per square foot if you're going to make adjustments for renovations. Okay. All right. Um, so let me see. We'll see if we got any in the uh, chat here. Um, let's see. What is this right here? Um, is that big? That's, that's we got a lot in the chat. Man, I, these guys just come. They just come with the addresses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That uh, that going to be big enough. Uh, I guess we can check it. Yeah. What is it? 2705? 2705 Hale Avenue. Let me, let me look at it over here. In, in uh, Texas? Uh, Kentucky. Kentucky. Louisville? Um, I think it's Bouchel. I think that's oh. the way they pronounce it. Well, it's, it, yeah, it's, I guess it's uh, Metro uh, Louisville. Okay. A one bed, one bath, 944 square foot. Uh yeah. All right. You ready? Big one bed, one bath. Just saying. You have to share your screen. All right. How's that? Uh, yes. All right. So here's our subject, guys. We got a one bed, one bath, 944. Zillow has its estimated at 25K. And then we've got a year built of 1900 on the 5,000 square foot lot. Not a lot of data here. <laughs> um, let's see what else we got. <laughs> Too big. Too big, too big, but let's see. Yeah. This is a good one because it's, it's really low, so we can give you some insight on it. I got to, uh, once we get over the prop stream, we'll look, see what you think about this. So the, the year of the construction here, guys, is going to be really important to pay attention to, right? Because it's an old ass house. Mm -hmm. And so we only want to be, you know, some of these 19, even this is 22 years newer still mm -hmm. with 1900 build house, right? So um, that's something to definitely keep in mind. I didn't realize... Um, 
there was so many what's this ooh what's there what's the size of our house again ty um it's had one back 994 right yeah no no 944 944 mm -hmm. so i'm i feel that the one bedroom is suspect for the square footage okay I, I, I feel the one bedroom is suspect for the square footage, just putting that out there because it doesn't, I don't know very many one bedroom houses that are 900 square feet. You know, you've got a two bedroom here that's 600 square feet. So how, how do they not fit more bedrooms in that spot? You know what I mean? Yeah, that's interesting. It, it may have been, uh, you know, it could be one of those situations. Uh, we can only go by what we see here, but um it, it wasn't permitted um and they've added bedrooms or whatever but um the well, these are <laughs> these are the tough ones right oh yeah uh, so so let, let, let's put it up on property because what we can do is look at the cash transactions and you just can right. see what you can just see what investors are paying in that area cash or whatever cool, let's do that all right so uh let me see All right. Um, is this it? Yeah. All right. So um, we'll go down here to the map. There it is. So we'll just draw, draw a boundary around it here. Stay within the main streets subdivision, as we say. All right. So uh, we put up seven of them. So we have some cash transaction here, 10-5. 14,000 says new construction right here. 11,000. What a new construction must've been just a land purchase. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So if we, if we go from year to year, uh, so we got, we got two 1900s in here. Okay. And so then we'll, and they're in our, they're in our, they're in our price point. Right. So we've got a 10,500, we got a 28,000. Um, and when you're looking at square footage, they're close. Mm -hmm. Can you see Bed Bath on those two? Uh, I can add that. Hold on a second. Let me see. All right. There we go. I don't know what's going on with that 450 there, but. That's whatever. an outlier. You would yeah. just take that out. That's. Yeah. That is not for us. That must have been like a bulk deal where they yeah. purchased, you know, all of Louisville. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Remove, uh, yeah, you we can't, can't buy all of Louisville for 450000 <laughs> Um. Okay, man. Well, so I think that just judging by what we see here, we are in the low lows, low lows, right? I think 28, right. 25 is going to be your ARV. Um, and you're going to be wanting to pick it up somewhere. Again, like you don't know, like what about one of these things, right? Nine hundred square feet, Ty, thousand square feet to renovate that could cost you thirty grand. Yeah, I don't. You see, and then what? Like you need to buy this just, for free. Uh, you need. To, do they need to pay you to take it? Yeah, that's what I was about to say. It has to be someone in those situations. Uh, when you have neighborhoods like that in Birmingham, you it, it, the people that normally buy those. Uh, say they can get it for 10 grand, you know, you may get it for five as far as contract. I know that sounds ridiculous, but it is what it is. I'm just telling you how it works. Uh, you may get it for five grand, wholesale it to them for eight to 10, and then they put the 30 in. It's just a, it's just a, a, cash flow, right? a just a cash flow situation. You got 30 grand, maybe invested in it, and you can get six, seven hundred a month. Then you just look at the numbers as far as your cash on cash return and so on or whatever. So, um so those are those are tight but they exist out there's a lot of markets like that so i'm glad we looked at it you know we, we're trying to cover all bases or whatever you know because the checks still cash the same if you can close a deal like that so absolutely absolutely and i think on that specific house ty what would you say that would be a prudent price for them to lock that up at i think i agree yep i agree yep cool yep. same right. same thing all right so um so we got one in Oklahoma City. You want to do that one? Let's go. All right. So 320 uh, Southeast 58th Street. 320 Southeast 58th Street. 
A little over the banner. Little house here, a little two bed, one bath, 900 square footer. To Zillow's estimates are at 50K. This one was built in 1949 and it sits on a 6,500 square foot lot. Let's see what we can find. How's Birmingham today, though, Ty? Oh, it's cool. A little rain, you know. What we a little do. rain? Yeah. All right. So here's our subject. What do we got here? A tube. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, Ty, look at this. Okay. Little beauty. Let's, this little investor investor fix up right here. This one right over here sold for 64 and it's smaller. So, and it's and it's a year old, so I'm gonna feel like we are north of 65, maybe even 70. But let's see if there's any evidence of that. Mm. That's a much nicer house. So let's let's scoot scoot. I don't like passing this. I don't want to cross shield. It is a looks like a busier road, so I'm going to try to stay away from crossing shield. That 64 so far is looking like it's the most appealing one that I can find. This is all newer stuff. Let's just double check that to make sure, but I believe it is. Yeah, 2013 build. So this little area here is where this activity is happening. It's not it's not a lot of activity. Um You've got you've got some trades, you know, in in the '60s here. We got a '57 that looks like pretty updated, um, you know, for for what it is. So I think sixty thousand is the right number, Ty. I think sixty k is the ARV, and I think that they want to pick that up at around thirty. All right, let's look in prop strings. What it's looking like. Um... Yeah. All right, um, so we'll go down here to the old mapo and we'll draw a boundary here. Let me see. Boom, 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 get up there. Boom, boom. All right, I hope you guys can see that. So, um, so you said it was 2013. No, it's a. It was a. What year? Hold on, I'll tell you what year. Forty nine. Yeah, I think that's right. Sounds right to me. Forty nine. Okay, so we have. Um, let me see that nineteen fifty. Yeah, that's an exact comp almost. So yep. yeah. Okay, so right there. Um, it's a little smaller, but whatever. The, yep. The lot size is, is exact. Exact. Oh, yeah. And so I, I think, I think, and then there was a lower comp there that was around 58K that was pretty exact too. Mm -hmm. um, so I think 60 is the number. Okay. All right. Cool. All righty. Um, so let's go to, let's pull another one from um, the last one we got. You want to go to, is Dallas, Georgia, is that sub Atlanta? So let's try it. Okay. All right, so 434 Woodland Street, Dallas, Georgia. 434 Woodland Street. Ooh, that's cute. Three bed, two bath, 1265 square footer in Dallas, Georgia. A few which I didn't even know existed. Yeah, it had a few comps. So let's just see. Um, Zillow has this estimated at 172K. This was built in 1990. As you can tell, because it's such a cute house, it's a single family on half an acre. Oh, you and don't have your screen up. You don't have it up. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. Damn it. My apologies, everybody. I'll start over. So we've got a three bed, two bath, 1265 square footer. That Zillow's estimates at 172 
This was built in 1990 and it's on half an acre. It's got four parking spaces apparently. I see there's a big carport. There you go, four spaces, a two car garage and then the carport right over here. Two two car garages, oh my gosh. Yeah, these guys these guys have a this is this is huge. Okay, let's let's look inside. I like this house. This is cute. This is cute. If I lived in Dallas, um, Georgia, I might live in this house. Let's see. All right. So we got a one. We got this one. This is our this is our subject. We got a one sixty here. Three bed, two bath, thirteen fifty two. Or sold at one sixty. All right. What's this one ninety? What's our size again? Twelve sixty five. Okay. This is. This is a, a very comparable with the with the uh, two garages, um, but this is an older comp. But that tells us that we're still north of 150 because the market's appreciated. Now, this backing onto this green space here, I think this affects our our pricing some. Okay, uh, what was our square footage again, Ty? Um, it's, um, 12 65. So this is 300 square feet larger. So I don't like using it, but this is good. We're going to use this as a, as a barometer guys. And let me, let me explain what I mean by that. So we see, we've got a three bed, three bath. That's 300 square feet larger. That's sold at 177. Okay. And it's a new comp. So that tells us now that we are below 177 because ours is smaller and we're not backing the green space. Okay, so now with that said, I've got this 150 from 2018. I've got this 177 that's larger from 2020. So I'm going to say I'm going to feel like ours is probably about 160K. I, I, that's where I believe ours sits is around 160K. That makes sense because in Dallas, Georgia, I don't see it being a highly appreciating market. There's not a lot of activity out there. And so my gut tells me that prices probably stayed pretty stagnant. Um, and so 160 is probably the right number. So that's where I'm gonna call it, Ty. Let's see what you get in uh, PropStream. All right. I think we're right there at the same thing. Okay. All right, so uh only six comps here so mm -hmm. they're all on the same side of this main highway yeah jacqueline uh c marketing asked what do you do if you can't find a comp so jacqueline that's what i'm gonna call a keep walking <laughs> if next. you are if next. It, yeah next because if you're trying to wholesale a house where there's no comps guess what your buyer is going to see no comps. And if your buyer can't see comps, they can't justify a value. And if they can't justify a value, then it's not an investment. And so in those circumstances, if you can't find comps, my suggestion is find another house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the market is telling you. It's yeah. talking to you. No one's buying there. So um, now sometimes it may be that the house may be an outlier and you it's harder to pull comps. It may be the normal square footage house may be 12, 1400 square feet. And this house is 3,500 square feet. Correct. Correct. And that that's an outlier at that point. So you're going to have to look right. at the house. You're going to have to look at the house and just pull one of the houses either on the left or the right or across the street and use that as your comping. And you're going to, you're going to do your deal based on that, unless it's in an area where it may be a, a B or an A area. Okay. That square footage may matter. And a D or C is not going to matter. They overbuilt or whatever. What do you think? And I think so, too. You know, the one thing I learned, uh, Ty, from an appraiser, uh, because I used to live in the, the biggest house in the subdivision, right? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, I, and, I, and I sold it. And when we were selling the house and, and I was talking to the appraiser about it, I, I, I was inexperienced at the time. And so I, I tried to argue with the appraiser. No, no, no. You see, the highest sold here was, 20, was a 2,200-square-foot house. Mine's 3,000 square feet. And so you just add the dollar per square foot for 800 square feet. And he's like, ah, no, 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 sir. That is not how it works. <laughs> and, so, and so what he explained to me, what appraisers are trained to do is they'll, they will look at the highest sold. So if the highest sold is still 800 square feet smaller, that is going to be the ceiling that they'll, and then they may add 10 grand just to give you that extra buffer. 
but they won't go past that 10,000. So, so buying or trying to wholesale the largest house in a neighborhood, another very problematic thing to do because you can't find evidence to prove that what value you're trying to get actually exists. Say so boom. Yeah. All right, so uh, you see what we see here. So 1990, every one of these comps are right there from 88 to 91. So they're all within that five years up or down. So, you know, you can pull, like you say, 160. It's, 160, yep. There's evidence right there. So yep. you see the 191, 225, but the consistency is between 150 to 169. So 160, you know, so boom. The comps don't lie. They don't lie, man. If you got them, if you got them, sometimes they don't, they don't, they don't appear. Uh, all right. So, um, construction year 1950. All right. Uh, let's do, let's go to Maryland. Uh, hopefully this is in, uh, and let's, let's get, uh, Melu, Melu, uh, Datsu's house. Okay. In, in and Baton Rouge. Rouge. And, okay, yeah. Let's do that. Let's do Melu. What's up, Melu? All right. Two, four, eight. Uh, <laughs> she's not letting us out bro she's <laughs> she's 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 like you guys are you guys are gonna comp this house <laughs> That's what we're gonna comp it. you Two guys are gonna eight. comp this house <laughs> <laughs> you got it melu we got you that's melu that's who that's what's up. i like that yeah it's neat so we don't know beds and baths based on zillow so uh i'm gonna just assume a three two this is a 2200 square oh, foot yeah. house. Sorry, sorry, screen. Sorry, screen. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't, I'm a little bit off, guys. I'm a little bit off. You guys can hear that chainsaw in the background. It's one of my dogs snoring. <laughs> 248 Lobdale Avenue. 248 Lobdale. I think I'm saying that right. Yep. Lobdale. Lobdale. I own the name. That's the only street name that in the whole country. All right. So I like got some some juice in here. A few comps. Yeah. Where? Yeah. There it is. All right. So let's work around. I, you know, not having the bed baths is bugging me. But again, I'm assuming it's a three two. Okay. All right. I think I. Yeah, I'm here. Let me see. Yeah, it's not giving me the bed bath on my end either. Strange. And it's a fairly newly built house in the 80s, I would say. That, that That's not too old. 86, yeah. 86 on an acre. So... <clears throat> Let me see what now this one here is a three one seventeen hundred square footer. This is a highly upgraded house, guys. Highly, highly upgraded. And this sold at two and a quarter. All right. Now this was on this was built when? 66. So it's old on a smaller lot. So so I'm I'm again, I don't want to get too excited, but I'm I feel like we might be north of 200. Uh, now Again, I feel really weird saying that because of this disparity in pricing, right? Let's see what we got over here. We've got uh, an investor style remodel. So this is like, a, a you know, get your kids and your nieces and nephews with some kit paint and let's go clean the house kind of deal. This sold at 152. Now it's, it's smaller than that other house and not as upgraded, but that's a big jump. Right? What's this 290? Gosh, bro, look at the or what are we missing, Ty? What? We got a 289.9 over here, 32, 18, 13. I have not seen comps jump this high since uh before and after the recession. This is this is this is a uh, complete mayhem. Is mayhem. Mayhem. Wow. 
So now Lubdell is a busy road, right? Lubdell Avenue, yeah. So that also has a thing we've got to pay attention to. I, I would only feel comfortable comping it with other houses on Lubdell. Just saying. Let me see what I see here. I don't see one on Lubdell. All over the place. But I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to say that if you're going to adjust for square footage mm -hmm. and seeing how these two are as close to each other as they are. Uh, now, guys, this is going to be one of those moments when, you know, like when you were a kid and your, and your parents said, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> okay i'm breaking rules here right now i'm gonna break some rules and i'm gonna tell you why i'm gonna break some rules okay so i don't like to ever compare houses that are this far apart in square footage i i it just doesn't you know this is 2200 this is 1700 that's 500 square feet mm -hmm. um but but i i almost feel like i have no choice okay because labdell is a busy road i don't have a lot of other busy road comps to use I can see evidence of houses in the 200s over here from this to that, but I feel like being on this major road, I'm never going to hit 290 like I would have on this interior house over here, right? And so I like this proximity that we have between these two. And so I'm going to say that I'm going to wash the increase in square footage that this has for this being on the main road, and I'm going to ARV this at two and a quarter. All right. So you went down to seventeen hundred. I did again. I don't I, that I don't like it. I'm I'm not I'm not uh, I'm not happy. I'm not happy to do that. I'm not going to say that. I'm not I'm not putting the Jamil stamp on that one. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna say that this is a a gut guess. All right. All right. So. Um... I'm going to draw the boundary here, which I really don't have to. All of these are right here, right here um, below that Florida Boulevard or whatever it's called. Um, the only issue is for some reason it's not pulling the year. Mm -hmm. um, so let me do this. Let me go down. I'm going to go down to 1,500 square feet. See if it pulls some more comps, which it does. All right. And um, let me see MLS. Okay. I, I can't get the years on them. You know, all of these have, they must be the same ones though, because all of them have the exact same lot size, yeah. an acre, exactly an acre. If you all didn't know the exact square footage of an acre, it's 43,560 feet. And if you want to visualize that is a football field without the end zones. But um, so what what are you looking at here? What do you think? Well, those three hundreds they seem they seem just nutty to me, mm. you know, um, for because of the the lower the lower trades that are there, mm -hmm. um, and that we're on a major road. Yeah. Right, Labdell is that from your from your on your on your prop stream. Does Labdell show as a major road, or is it? Did it look more menacing on Zillow than it does on Prop? Uh, hold on, no, no it's, See, it, it's a small street. It's a small street. Okay, yeah. so it's way more menacing on on uh, Zillow. See, at Zillow here, they 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 thicken that thing right up. You mm -hmm. know, so so now then let's let's go back. So if this is a smaller road, you want to go back in years? Now I can start look, looking at these two nineties here, though. Okay. Right? All right. All right. All right. Now I feel like I can I can start to include these. And okay. so so then now that I feel like we're north of 290. Now now mm -hmm. what I'm, now I might even be able to go back to this 315 over here. Mhm. Mm 
And what's our year build? Uh, 86. 1986? Mm-hmm. So this is old ass. Um, oh, you're, uh, you want your, pull, uh, you, you're on your screen. Let's pull it up. Oh, you can't see my screen right now? Okay. Uh, I, they, they can only see mine. Okay, hold on. Yep. How about... Um, Now? Yep. Okay. <sighs> wow. It, it, isn't it something though? The like it's like popcorn. It's everywhere. Mm -hmm. The numbers are everywhere. But I mean, guys, there's evidence of there of this being, you know, with the right remodel, like you've got over here, that you could hit a three and a quarter ARV. But there's also evidence that that this that this sells at two and a quarter, you know, or like two at two at two ninety. Mm. So the year builds are tough because the year builds are flip flopping all over the place. We're in 86. There's not a lot of newer stuff that was built in the 80s around here. I'm seeing a lot of stuff in the 60s. Mm -hmm. Now, older, I would say, you know, because it's newer, it's better. It's like it's it, it gives it more. It gives it a little bit more of a bump. So so I like that. It has that going for it. It's going to have more of a modern layout than a 60s house. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's going to have more of a modern layout. So there's going to be there's going to be less to do. Um and just trying to see this elevation here. I mean, we got no parking, so that's was there parking? Let's look here. I I, I don't remember seeing any parking. No data. Man, they pick, this. Uh, she picked a hard one, but I, no wonder she did because she's probably like, I'm not leaving until these guys comp this house because this one has got me. I think you're okay to go back here. Those are all nice remodels. Yeah, I would be comfortable with. Uh, I think you're. I think you're okay at calling it like a 300, 310 house. Yeah, that, that's what I was about to say. I was going to say three twenty, but we're close. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'll. 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 There. So what? I guess uh, May Lou. That's who. <laughs> uh what, what are you getting it for or whatever so uh let us know all right um what we'll do um let's go to uh um, let me see well my man keep putting it in here so we're gonna go to red springs north carolina north carolina and uh, uh the username was shash Shash Go wanted to know how to submit houses to Keegley. Um, if it's in one of our markets that we're in or that our franchise is in, we can help you. And the way to know that is just email Andrew, A-N-D-R-E-W at Keegley.com. Andrew at Keegley.com. And he will let you know if we can help you out. All right. So let's do Andrew. Hopefully Red Springs is big enough. 816, 816 West third avenue where uh red springs north carolina 816 west third avenue three bed two bath 27 30 square feet no estimate yeah put put uh share your screen oh okay okay Three two twenty seven thirty square foot. Nose estimate. Built in fifty one on a half an acre. 
with lots of trees. Of course, it has lots of trees. This is in North Carolina. Jamil, have you seen North Carolina? It's beautiful. Hmm. Another place that I would live. Let me see. So here's our here's our property with very little soul data. Is North Carolina oh. non disclosure? Well, no. Uh, the population of this town is um, 3,300. And I'm just trying to make sure it's not a sub. Uh, uh, it's quite a bit away from Fayetteville. So it's sort of in the middle of nowhere. So. Okay. That, that's our issue there. Sorry, yeah. Aaron. See, guys, it's, it's hard to comp properties in small towns, and that's a really small town. Uh, there's not going to be any data. Like we answered the question a moment ago, there are no comps, no deal, you know, unless you're going to buy it yourself. You know, mm -hmm. not saying it's impossible, it better be very difficult to make a living there, unless yeah. that small town has something special going on where it's a tourist attraction, it's a destination point or whatever. So again, if it's a, a part of us, a, uh, a metropolitan area like a uh, Phoenix, Atlanta, even Birmingham, you know, you, you have those small towns or, or uh, municipalities. If you just look on the map at their population, they're small, but it's actually, they don't say if they fly to LA, they don't say they're from Pelham. They say they're from Birmingham or whatever. So, uh, so if it's one of those, but this is like not close to any large city by no means. So we sorry about that. Aaron. We do, there's nothing we can do on that, my man. Um, so let's do, um, um, let's do this one in Tampa. Uh, Terrence. Oh, Justin. He said, oh no, he's going to send that to you. Okay. Yeah. Right. Send that to Justin, J U S T I N at Keegley.com. Terrence, send that to Justin at Keegley.com. He, you want to try New York, York again? Say it again. You want to try New York again? <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm down, bro. You know how I, you know how I be. All right, so 2009 Cretona, I think I'm saying that correctly, Avenue, C-R-O-T-O-N-A, 209 Cretona, Crotona, Crotona. Flip man, flip man. To get yeah. Spell Cretona again. C R O T O N A. Where is it? Um, Bronx, New York. Doesn't like this address. I can already tell. I got it on my end. C R O T O N A. It's a triplex that we're not gonna probably make it. Well, that's probably why. But here, let's see. Yeah, let's let's see it on prop stream. All right. Um, all right. So um, you got it, Terrence. Um. So I guess that'll still be residential property type two to four. Okay. Thank you, Andrew, for the kind words. I appreciate you, bro. All right. So um, now let's just draw a circle around this little area right here. May have to extend out since it's a multi-family dwelling, not commercial though. All right. So. There we go. Year built, 07, 08, 06, all of that matches. Square up the lot size, all matches up. Square footage, pretty close. Square, pretty close, boom. Yeah, I think you got about a nine, it could be up to 950. Yeah. Easily. Yep. So that's a good one. What you getting it for, my man? We don't know. Don't know. So I uh, think that'll do it, guys. We've been about an hour in, and we want to make sure that um, you hear from our sponsors. If you'll give me a moment, those guys are 
just show up out of the blue. And here they are. What's cracking? I'm Jamil Zambia, and I was looking for ass flip man all over the internet. I could not find this man that saved my life. I was tracking him down, and then I figured out I could ski trace him. What did I ski trace him at? Gift2flip.com. Gift2flip.com. What do you want to tell us? He overpaid. <laughs> you don't have to overpay by simply using the code FLIPMAN. Use code FLIPMAN, guys. 15 cents flip skips. Gift to flip. Those guys are out of control. <laughs> so, yeah, guys. So, um, this week's edition uh, episode um, number 11 of Comps 101. Anything you want to share, Jamil, before we get out of here? Um, yeah, guys, do us a favor and leave uh, Flipman uh, some extra love and comments. Subscribe and ring the bell and do all those things. Um, so that you guys know when we do this, uh, if we didn't get to your house this time, uh, submit it to, where do you want them to submit it to comps 101.com. Correct. And, uh, and he, he, he might bring it to the show, but, uh, we'll do this again next week at the same time, same place. And I appreciate all of you guys for showing up. Thank you. Boom. Oh God, we'll see you next week and stick around in about an hour for uh show. I guess number 155 of. Uh, my weekly flippinars. So we'll see you next week. Flip man, flip man. It's the flip man. Flip man, flip man. You want some money in your hand? In your hand. Flipping houses without credit.